Insights on Jonathan Haidt's The Righteous Mind Brought to you by InstaRead Jonathan Haidt's The Righteous Mind, Why Good People Are Divided by Politics and Religion, is an application of Haidt's research on moral psychology to the context of American politics. Haidt argues that morality is based on both intuition and reasoning, and that liberals and conservatives base their beliefs on different and often competing moral constructs. He suggests that conservatism in the United States relies more on appeal to moral intuitions than liberalism does, and that liberals should take conservative morality seriously by acknowledging the validity of the moral institutions that appeal to conservatives. There are three principles of moral psychology. The first is that moral intuitions precede moral reasoning. The second is that morality not only describes opinions about harm and fairness, but also includes communal and group taboos and commitments. Third, morality binds communities together, and the moral impetus to community can cause moral blind spots. Many moralists, such as Plato and Immanuel Kant, argued that morality is achieved by reason regulating passion. However, Research by evolutionary psychologists suggests that David Hume provided a better account of morality. Hume believed that moral intuition derives moral feeling, and that reason factors in only after moral judgments are made to explain or provide rationale for moral intuitions. Evolutionary biology added important depth to prior understandings of morality. It gave rise to the field of evolutionary psychology, which holds that different moral intuitions evolve in response to different environmental imperatives. In the Western world, liberal elites tend to think morality involves doing no harm to others. However, for most people, morality includes fulfilling social relationships and avoiding foods, situations, or actions deemed unclean. Conservatives in the United States appeal to a broader range of moral intuitions, which is why they have been more successful electorally than Democrats. What has enabled human beings to outcompete other species is the human ability to work together in groups. There is strong evidence that natural selection can function at the level of groups as well as individuals. Evolutionary psychology indicates that morality and religion are evolutionary developments that bind groups together and help them to outcompete other groups. Conservatives understand the importance of group identity, while liberals do not. Both conservatives and liberals can learn from each other and develop a more encompassing and pluralist morality. However, liberals especially need to listen to conservatives who understand that individual rights sometimes have to be subordinated to what is good for the community. Insight number one. People do not exclusively use reason to reach moral conclusions. Rather, they have moral intuitions and attempt to use reason to justify them. Philosophers like Plato and Immanuel Kant believe that humans achieve morality when reason regulates passions. However, research by many revolutionary biologists suggests that people instead use reason to justify prior moral intuitions. In a well-known 1979 study by Charles G. Lord, Lee Ross, and Mark R. Lepper, the researchers evaluated the effect of arguments on people's opinions about the death penalty. The researchers gave subjects two invented studies, one of which supported the death penalty and one of which opposed it. Supporters of the death penalty said that the study supporting the death penalty was convincing and the one opposing it was not. Opponents of the death penalty, on the other hand, said that the study opposing the death penalty was convincing and found flaws in the study supporting it. Both groups said that they had become more confirmed in their opinions about the death penalty after reading the studies. The study demonstrated that forcing people to use reason to engage with their moral beliefs caused them to become more convinced of their original beliefs, not more uncertain. Insight number two. People who live in Western industrialized democracies emphasize individualism in their morality. Most psychology research is done on people who are from cultures that are Western, educated, industrial, rich, and democratic. Some social scientists describe these cultures with the acronym WEIRD. It is research hate found that WEIRD people have unusual moral intuitions in comparison to everyone else. WEIRD individuals, such as university students, tend to base morality on a single foundation, 
the principle of harm. Non-weird people understand morality as a web of relationships with relatives, community members, and gods. When presented with a story about a man who privately has sex with a chicken corpse and then eats it, for example, weird subjects in one of Haight's studies are reluctant to condemn the man because nobody was harmed. This is because weird people see the moral world in terms of individual rights and freedoms. People from lower class backgrounds, however, or from non-Western countries, tend to morally condemn the man with the chicken corpse. Their more holistic understanding of morality sees the degradation of an individual as affecting a social and spiritual web, so they are more likely to condemn the man with the chicken. Insight number three. Humans have a variety of moral intuitions, which can be grouped into six categories. Humans evolved a number of foundations for moral intuitions. The Care Harm Foundation causes people to react to expressions of need. It evolved in response to the need to care for children. The Fairness Cheating Foundation causes people to react positively to altruism and to punish cheaters. It evolved in response to adaptive benefits of collaboration between individuals. The Loyalty Betrayal Foundation causes people to react positively to those who support the group and negatively to those who do not. It evolved in response to the adaptive benefits of group cooperation. The Authority Subversion Foundation causes people to react negatively to violations of status or rank. It evolved in response to the adaptive benefits of hierarchies within societies. The Sanctity Degradation Foundation causes people to react with disgust or reverence. It evolved because humans are omnivores who must still be wary of possible poisons. An instinct for purity and cleanliness likewise helps to avoid pathogens. The Liberty Oppression Foundation causes people to resist domination. It evolved from early humans' resistance to domination by a single alpha male. Number four. Conservative morality is based on more moral intuitions than liberal morality is. Number five, group cooperation is one of the most important human evolutionary adaptations. Number six, natural selection can occur between groups, not just between individuals. Number seven, religion is an important and helpful evolutionary adaptation. We hope you enjoyed this video. Smash the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. Visit instaread.co to get more insights from this and thousands of other books. Use the code YouTube to get a discount on your subscription.